Edwin Encarnacion video, how to blocking guide. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? It's Joey Myers from the Hitting Performance Lab, and in this Edwin Encarnacion video, we're going to go over what blocking is, according to German champion discus thrower Robert Harding. Then we're going to talk about how Edwin Encarnacion actually uses the blocking technique, and lastly, we're going to talk about building Chris Solis 2.0, a Division II college baseball player I had the pleasure of working with recently. But first, here's Robert Harding. So what is blocking according to German champion discus thrower Robert Harding? So what you're going to find here is I want you to imagine a force plate that he's standing on in this circle. And it's going to measure the amount of force that his foot's going to put into the ground or his body is going to put into the ground in PSI or pounds per square inch. So each step he takes, he's going to progressively put more force into the ground until he gets to that front leg, which is here bent as you can see until he gets into the ground he's going to push his heel on the ground and he's going to extend through his finish here so he's going to push into the ground and the ground's going to push back and he's really going to root into the ground now let's take a look at another discus thrower who does something a little little different so let me pause the video real quick and we'll get over there all right different discus thrower you're going to see different techniques so we're going to see as we approach release that front leg or that front foot actually is not going to even fully hit the ground as he turns around. He's going to hit the ground and not really get his heel to touch the ground. He's just going to spin and he's going to drop over the top. And this is something that the Germans do really well from what I've told is that Germans are better at blocking or really pushing into the ground, pushing that heel into the ground and not spinning around. So let's take a look at how Edwin Encarnacion uses the blocking technique. All right, here's a walk-off homer that Edwin Encarnacion hit, and he was a little out in front, 85 mile an hour hanging breaker. What you're gonna find that he's doing is he's using his body as a snapping towel. You're gonna see him move forward, he's gonna get some forward momentum, he's gonna move forward, and then he's gonna snap back using this blocking technique. So essentially what he's doing is he's pushing into the ground to straighten that leg. He's pushing into the ground hard, aggressively, and he, that leg is getting to straight, and what that's doing is pushing his front hip out of the way and giving his back hip a free ride forward. So if he had that force plate that was under his foot measuring his PSI, or his pounds per square inch, you would see a huge number pop up on the screen with this ball. So as he pushes into the ground, the ground pushes back. A lot of sit-back hitters are going to have a hard time with this because they're sitting back and they will generally move forward during the actual final turn itself. And if we're out in front, because this is what I did when I played, if you're out in front on a pitch, you're not going to be able to snap back. You're, that front knee is going to stay bent and we're not going to get much of a force transfer from the pelvis up through the spine into the shoulder. So let's check out how to build Chris Solis 2.0. Here's the first couple things that we were able to change in Chris Solis' swing. This is his before, this is his after. As you can see here, the angles are much different. The before, 116 degrees, and the after, 83 degrees. And you'll notice that the back foot is finally unweighting off the ground. But we were trying to get him to get a little shorter so he didn't jump his foot but more skipped it. So it is a little high here but a lot better. His knees getting through, his back hips getting through a lot better than he was when he was anchoring it down. Now watch his spine and head angle and how we get it to sit back a little bit more on the after to snap back versus his before. You can see him really leaning forward which is going to cause him to hit the ball on the ground. What I want to see Chris improve upon is to show his numbers a little bit longer and lead with the front of his thigh. So his front of his thigh is almost pointing at the pitcher. That's going to help open up the foot and to make sure that he's getting to this front ball marker. But that's going to add a lot of power that he's missing out on right now and in transferring into the ball. 